I'm Miss Amy with Jefferson County 4-H and today I'm going to teach you how to make a sock bunny. So all right, let's talk about our needs that we're going to need for today. We're going to need some twine or ribbon or raffia, whatever you have around the house. We're also going to need some scissors and we're going to need a clean sock for this today. Not a dirty one, a nice clean one. You're also going to need a glass or a bowl, rice or dry beans, a marker, um, something to scoop out your rice or dry beans with. I brought measuring spoons. And then you're gonna need either ponytail holders or rubber bands, whichever you have is fine. So first things first, we're gonna take our sock and we're gonna put it inside of our glass here. And we're gonna roll it around like this where it comes down. We're gonna push this just like that. That way we can get our rice inside. So all right, let's start with our rice. This would be something fun to make and sit around the house for holidays and whatnot. Give to your friends. All right, we're gonna scoop a couple spoonfuls in here. And we're gonna push that down, shake it down a little bit. Get some more. Because this is gonna be the bottom of our bunny. All right, so we're gonna take it out and see where we're at. a good amount there. So we're going to take a little rubber band. We're going to come like this and just go around just like that. Okay, and so there's the bottom of our bunny. Okay, so now that we have our rubber band on, we're going to sit it right back in our glass and we're going to roll our sock down one more time. Kind of push it down in there. And now we're gonna work on the head of the rabbit. So I'll put some scoops of rice. Just like that. Just a little bit more. All right, let's see if we have enough for our head. We need just maybe one more scoopful. Now we're gonna take it out of our glass here, shake it down. All right, so as you can see, this is what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna go ahead and get our other rubber band on. Just like this. Go around a couple of times. Okay, so as you can see, we have our bottom of our bunny and our head, and this is gonna be what becomes our ears. So this is where our scissors come in. You're just going to take your scissors and cut straight down the middle, okay? Just straight down the middle. You will need some good scissors for this, though. So there's our ears for our bunny. And now we're going to take the twine. And this is just for decoration. Like I said, it can be ribbon. It can be raffia, whatever you have around the house. Just to add a little bow around the neck. And then I like to put one up by the ears as well, just to cover up the ponytail holder or rubber band, whatever you use, just like that. Now you do not have to draw a face on here, but you can if you want. Um, also, if you're really crafty, you can sew little button eyes on, whatever you like to do. All right, so I'm gonna make just a little eyes and a nose here, just like that one. Just like that. And I kind of do a triangle for the nose and mouth. That way it kind of gets all of that together. And then there you have a little sock bunny. So you can make it and sit it around the house, give it as gifts, do whatever you like. But I hope you enjoy this. I hope you make it. I hope you have a great day. And don't forget to check out the library for some more craft books. Bye. Yeah.